Trinidad and Tobago's National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines Monday warned of a direct correlation between the crime surge in the country and what transpires behind prison walls. Describing the crime situation as horrendous, Hines says the government remains concerned about rising crime rates but admits that it is not overnight fix. He said a major operation was underway to unearth some 12,000 illegal firearms now in the hands of criminals. The National Security Minister says he had received information that inmates were organizing criminal activities targeting individuals on the outside. There are prison officers who by virtue of the oath they have taken on their own personal morality and integrity and the regulations of the prison service and the police service who take the position we will not be a part of that. We will not comply with that. We will uphold the law and the constitution and the tenets of our duty. And there are cases where those prison officers have come under threat and have paid with their lives. Every single day since it happened, I look at this as I go into my office. This is a prison officer by the name of Jones. May his soul rest in peace. May his family be comforted. You will remember on that day in Separia, when he was there with his daughter doing the things that all fathers ought to do. And you will remember the reaction of that child when the shots ran out and she saw her father fall. Criminality of the highest extreme. And that's because Jones, from all the information I got from the prison and the police, was one of those officers who took the position, he will do what he's supposed to do. Now, in addition, the acting commissioner of prisons also noted that a number of people end up in prison as a result of what he termed a broken value system. He says while being behind bars can imprison their body, they are yet to imprison their minds from continuing their criminal behavior and networking, noting the mayhem associated with drugs and cell phones being allowed illegally into the prison system. Now the question arises, how are these illegal phones or drugs getting into the prison. It has been said and it is easy to say that it's rogue prison officers. Yes, we have some of them. For the past two years, we have arrested 18 officers in attempts to traffic drugs or contraband into the prison. Since my ascending to acting in this position the 24th of February, we have arrested two officers and another two by perhaps by the end of the week. So we have stepped up our surveillance. We are working closely with the police service. And the minister is giving us his support as regards to the tools of the trade, his encouragement and his motivation. Trinidad and Tobago recorded 448 homicides last year. That's up from 399 the previous year. At the end of April of this year, the murder toll stood at 172.